Damn, now I'm gonna do the Navius. It's not paying out. Chapter. Um, but there's a quest here that has been bothering me for a while. And I think it's continuing a previous one. Okay, we made again. Uh -huh. Any new work? Oh, I suppose our commissions here at Tales of Humanity are too easy for you, or have you been in dire need of more lately? We can never have enough more. A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Diligent youngster, I see. Well, sure. Uh, if there's one thing we don't like here, it's work to be done. In fact, the Steambird could probably be considered the largest clearing house for jobs outside of the Admitter's Guild. Now, I said that, but we didn't really need to take up the social services aspect. Whatever the case, since you need more, allow me to recommend a certain long term gig for you. Uh, recruitment notice, Mr. Ben Benoit. Leroy, uh, it takes to hire one early caretaker. Wanted someone good at housekeeping, cooking, and at caring for elderly folks. Mr. Leroy is willing to provide food and board, along with suitable remuneration. Interested parties may contact him directly. Uh, this is a note that Mr. Leroy left with us over half a year ago. Most of us who live on the street know him well. Although his reputation when he was younger was less than stellar, I haven't heard any untoward rumors concerning him in recent years. He's been alone most of his life, and with his only daughter not being by his side, there's no one to take care of him. I suppose that's where a person could use one early worker to help. From what I know, he's not hard up on Mora, so you'll be well paid. It's nearly danger-free job with a great compensation to boot, no reason not to consider it. So we just need to help him with some housework, right? I don't think that sounds pretty chill. Please give me his address, if you would. Of course, just turn two corners, loop around. Actually, never mind, let me give you a map instead. Didn't you already? Remember to tell him that I, I was the one to introduce you, alright? Uh, no. Dying flesh. It's not that far. Let's walk there. Oh, he's freeing his neighbor. A shirt, a thousand more, Morticia's necklace. Youngsters these days sure know how to spend. Hello there, Mr. Leroy. Hey there, you're free seeing us. I'll explain to Mr. Leroy why we're here. I thought that you're free seeing us will explain already. Huh, that was seven years ago, wasn't it? I didn't think your crazy would hold on to that commission for so long. It's true, I did think of hiring early workers, after all, even the most capable of us get old and need others to take care of them. I spent so much of my life working to have this home, but in my old age I found I had no one to share it with. That didn't make me quite sad for a time, so it's a good thing, all in all, that my daughter and son-in-law have come to take care of me. Uh, I suppose those aren't they, right? Uh, they're good children, they love each other very much, and they keep me company. There's nothing more that I could want. But to say, youngster, I'm, that I'm not hiring anymore. So we came here for nothing. Really, that is crazy. Well, now, don't be too down. That's not how youngers should be. 
you lot should be enjoying your best life, armed with a smile. Also, since you made a trip here, and since your freezing recommended you, I do in fact have some work for you. It just so happens that the kids are out, and I can't quite handle everything here. Of course, you'll be well paid. Oh, nice. You're a great guy, Mr. Leroy. Huh, and you got quite a silver tongue. She didn't say anything remarkable yet. Alright then, uh, go help me clean the stair stains by the door and behind the house. Then feed Nana some fish while I eat. You have a cat? Uh, right, I forgot to mention, but Nana's my cat, you know? The one by the door. Thanks in advance on Nana's behalf. Ah, there. He wasn't there, was it? I just looked there. Uh, well, that sounds simple enough. No problem, leave it to us. Didn't you say stains by the door? Uh. That works. Uh, okay. Banana. Sure. Strange boxes. All the crafty heavy boxes covered in layers of dust. They're present here in the usually bright and clear color fountains called Jerry. They're just a corner. The base of those these boxes have collected a lot of clear water stains over the years. They must have once been piled in an exceedingly damp location. Never mind the stains on the door. These boxes look to be in far more urgent need of cleanup. Where are they clean now? You're done? That's right, Mr. Leroy. Also... Uh, what is it? You want some candy or like your pocket money now? Uh, both. <laughs> Climo. Uh, what a great little child, and still that's fine, that's exactly what little children should be like. Especially little ladies as cute as you, Paimo, macros, free dresses, and lovely homes, that's what you deserve to have. Uh, Paimo reconciled too, and you could get- no. Uh, boo, you're so stingy. We're adventurous, Paimo. Don't lose sight of why we're traveling, Paimo. We're adventurous. No one doesn't see how any of this stuff of flicks we have in macaron skirts and big beautiful houses though. We do have big a uh, big houses, yeah, plural, with the several pots. Mm -hmm. And what's with the sudden argument? It's uh but a little banter now and then is good. That just shows that you're still children. Actually about that I'm that's how you know we get along. Uh, treasure childhood. You won't last. Anyway, here candies and coins, both. Now then, do behave, alright? Yeah, snacks. Thank you, Mr. Leroy. Let's call me ben Benoit Charge. Leroy is my surname. Uh, I'm the last Leroy in the entire Court of Fontaine. Mentions of my family name make this poor old soul quite long indeed. So please, just use my name. Basically, Benoit, your daughter doesn't share your surname. Morticia isn't my daughter by blood. I took her in half a year ago. That said, she may as well be my own true-born daughter. Uh, if you don't mind, you can come again tomorrow. She and Atos should be back by then. I'm sure she won't mind having two lovely ch children like you over for snacks. Especially since you're helping us with some of the chores. Some other children come by occasionally, so feel free to play with them too. I love children. The more of them are around, the merrier the house is. If you don't see me when you come over again, just knock and ask for me. I'll just open the door for you. Alrighty, we'll be back tomorrow then. Good, good. I should be going back inside at any rate. See you tomorrow. See you then, children. <laughs> Yeah.
newspaper delivery. Just live by the door, thanks. I'll come get you later. Try to help me not today. It should be rude. It would be rude to disturb his rest. You agree to meet him tomorrow, so it's best to do just that. Mm. Oh, hang on. The, the, do I have a, a time? No, I don't have a time here. Oh no, it's not real world time, is it? There's tomorrow. No, let's go early. It's usually something around. Oh, okay, he's here already. <gasps> Being too popular can be such a hassle. Who knew? Th Thank you, Molly. Your kindness sparkles in your lovely lavender eyes. Uh, does it really? Did you really like that doll that I brought you last time? Oh yes, yes indeed. It was very lovely. You know, I even set a set up place for it at the dining table. Really? Oh, that will make you so happy. Uh, what about today? Do you need to lean on me during your walk? Or should I fetch your newspaper? I could read it to you too, uh, if you can make out the words. Mom says that I should do one good deed every day, and my tutor wants me to submit an essay this day week about good people and good things. Uh, I don't mean I'm doing this because I need to write an essay, but if you don't mind, I do want to help you out. Uh, I'm, I'm already fine, really. The best thing you could do is help to help me is tell your parents that you often come by my place to play. I know, Mr. Leroy, I've told them, but they don't seem too happy about it. Will you still come again, even so? I sure will, if they won't let me. I mean, we made an agreement, didn't we? Huh, you're indeed a child of your words. Good, good. I do like you very much. Okay, this guy's looking sh Yeah, I guess she has been heavy recently, but you they won't go all that way. Ah, it's you too. Welcome, kind souls, welcome. Uh, we didn't mean to intrude or anything. Did we interrupt? No, no, the two of you aren't interrupting anything. My young friend Molly here is currently out and about, trying to complete her homework. She just happened to stop at my home. She would like to do something nice for me, so that she might have some material for her essay. Hey, I'm not helping because I want to finish my homework. Well, not just because of that anyway. Of course, of course. You're not being a good child just because of your homework, after all. Much like these two young guests, they are not here to help just because they need a job either. Uh, well, we... Well, no. It was just a little jest. Surely you won't begrudge an old man that much. Youngsters have much time that they may spend freely. And you are willing to while that time away with me. And I do enjoy the company of young people. Nothing wrong with any of that. No, is there? Then perhaps I should just give you something to do. People are people are want to come and go around the entrance. It tends to get dirty there very quickly. And nobody swept behind the place for days. So if may ask, please help me clean it up again. Well okay then. Molly would give me give my cat company. Uh and bring a fish steak if you would. Her name is Nana by the way. She heard the name from a dog I had previously. Ah, oh, hang on. Ah, uh, Nana is the cat that... The dog that speaks, isn't it? It's a shame, but my daughter took her along when she went off to get married. Ah. Uh, Alright, Mr. Leroy. He doesn't know he has a granddaughter. Farewell, children. Off you go. My children are home, which makes cleaning the filth that gathers by the door in the back of the house quite tricky. I'm counting on you. Uh... Primo's Rose. 
Leon. Não. Não. Atos. I remember the name. Atos grows her so vegetables, kitchenware, and sewing materials. It was Atos spreading joy, but the jeweler branch used underhanded methods to destroy both his soul and his life. Uh, Atos stabbed him to death in revenge and dumped his corpse in the Salasa plain. To murder someone is, of course, crime, but the victim is the victim necessarily entirely innocent. Brent got his just desserts, while Atos will spend the rest of his life in hiding. Atos and the full sword, for you help Atos get the truth out. Please look for thank you gifts. Your kind should be rewarded. Is the guy kind of senile already? Because apparently Atos wouldn't be here yesterday. What was this Morticia? Parking his husband or traveling for Fontaine? Parker and her husband. Parker is... No, she is a Morticia. Is with Athos. I heard our Penny, a lovely girl who loves swimming and fish. Uh, best friend in Ruth, spare her. The absorption of ruthlessness. I like a fix on a bond. Parker's life is full of joy and surprise. She hopes her child will share the same happiness. I was with the reader. Okay, there wasn't anything mentioning. They had a barrel, his wife. Okay, so Atos is another guy who wasn't Penny's related to Penny. Okay, so Parker in Barrel. But. Oh no, yeah, Nana wasn't from. Nana wasn't from Penny's mother. But I don't remember she saying the name Morticia. Alton. She was a puppet. I no. No, it is everybody. Okay, but okay, but at least Atos is here. This mission there. Turn home. Okay, I, I spoke to you already. And why is it dirt already? Nana, Nana, would you like some fish? Do you have fish? Same thing. Observe. No one is a slab of fish. Nana seems most pleased. You guys. Nothing. Mm. Are you all done? That's right. Yep, the cleaning up's done. And Molly's fed the cat too. Also, Benoit, there's a pile of super dirty old boxes next to your place. Do you want us to clean those up too? All oh, those boxes. I just store some old stuff in them. Otherwise, they don't see much use. Some of them contain furniture and other small items from my old place. Which I haven't had the heart to throw away, but at the same time, they don't fit with my current home, so they've ended up just stacked out there. I haven't touched them for the most part, but since everyone around here is a decent source, no one's stolen anything, so they can stay right where they are. Mr. Leroy, Mr. Leroy was that helpful? Why, well, of course you were, Molly. Don't forget to say hello to your parents for me. I'd be more grateful if I would you, if you could do that. And I've got the snacks in pocket money right here, children, so come and get it. Oh no, no, I don't need a pocket money, I'd just like to pen Nana some more, can I? Oh, of course, please do. 
but watch out for her claws, and remember to come back for snacks once you're done playing. Uh, where'd you go? Oh, dead. Uh, well, this old fellow got lonely uh, while his children not being around to keep him company at all, so he decided to go get some fresh air. Ah, uh, Morticia, uh, would you look at that? Uh, gone but a few days and he's mad at us already. Uh, but I'm sure he'd forgive us if he only knew what gift we brought back this time, don't you think? Mm. Gift? What did you bring back? Something wonderful, of course. You know when you see it. Morticia knows how you like lovely, expensive things. She picked it out especially for you. Thank you, my daughter. Uh, I did only what I should have. Ah uh, yes, these two lovely guests are also children who came by to play while the two of you were out. Hello there. My father's a friendly man and really loves kids. Wasn't Morticia, your daughter, and you the son-in-law? It's weird that you call him father. And you guys aren't... You don't know him that long because... She's here for a little over a year. Um, so thank you for keeping him company, truly. Still, since my wife and I are back, we take it from here. Uh, it, is, it really is good that you're back. Come now, let me have a look at the present. Alright then, let's go inside, shall we? Indeed, indeed. Atos, do remember to give them their pay and some snacks. They helped me sweep the place and fed Nana too. Ah, and give that young lady some of those treats too, would you? I'm going back inside now. Sir Leroy, no, no, let me give her belly a rub. Uh huh? Where is gun? Are you looking for my father, little lady? I'm his son in law. Uh, well, you might as well just consider me his son to keep things simple. Call me Athos. Uh, oh, I know what a son in law is. Uh, that means you're his daughter's husband. Uh, you sure are knowledgeable, aren't you? Thanks for keeping my father company. He, he's gonna indoors. These snacks are for you. You can leave the rest to my wife and I. It's alright if you don't buy anymore. Okay, this is really weird. Anyway, you should head home now. So head home soon. Your family will be worried about you if you are out too long. Oh, don't worry, mister. It was no trouble at all. And anyway, Mr. Leroy and I have an agreement. I think he might need my help going forward too. So, you know, what with feeding the cat, watering plants and our stuff. Loving people makes me happy too. So, I'll definitely come back. Uh, and that's what makes things tricky. Is uh, something wrong, mister? No, little lady. Not at all. I have something important to discuss with you. Uh, no. Discussion is the right word, uh, there's something I need you to do. Sure, what is it? I'm going to give you the snacks and pocket money, and then after that, don't come back again. Alright? Uh, why, did I do something wrong? No, of course you haven't. It's just that my father's health has always been poor, and his insomnia has gotten quite bad lately. Out of consideration for his health, my wife and I would like him to have an environment of con conducive to rest, you understand, don't you? Oh, so Mr. Leroy is unwell, I get it. Next time I'll bring extra bull fruit. Every time I eat too much cake and get my tummy ache, uh, Papa tells me I should eat less sweets and have more fruit. As long as Mr. Leroy eats some fruits every day, he'll be fine. Uh, never mind, nothing else for it. As for two of you, here are your snacks and rewards. And now, let me speak plainly. I am speaking for the entire Leroy family on this matter. I hope that you will not come and disturb us again in the future. I believe that despite your youth, you will be able to understand my meaning. So please, do not go out of your way to return here. Yeah, that doesn't sound shady a lot at all. That's all, I'll take my leave now. Why can we come back? It's so weird. Mr. Leroy is so nice, but this man just really doesn't want us to. 
Yes, yeah, this guy speaks politely, nothing, right? But he's as cold as they come. No, I don't care what he says. I'm going to come see Mr. Leroy tomorrow. What about you two? Come on, just come along. Anna's so cute, I want to pet her a bit more. And also, Mr. Leroy is going to give us more snack. Uh, let's see what show is a rotten egg. Uh, when we've got time. No, we'll come. Alright, no taxes back, sis. Okay? Uh, we've got to come pet the cat and play with Mr. Leroy. Okay, tomorrow. Oh, you show him back? Okay, then it's there. My well, name is Paimon, and his illness just calls by our, na by our names from now on. Do you come to see Beno? That's right, but I didn't get a chance to speak to him. Looks like I won't be able to finish my essay at this rate. Your essay? Alright, you were doing good deeds because you had homework. Hey, that's not true, I really do like Mr. Benoit. He's really smooth. Yes, that's right, smooth. Hmm. What kind of descriptor is that? You mean he's personable and a good communicator, don't you? Anyway, uh, please, Miss Paimon, uh, could you help me, please? If you don't, my is toast. My tutor said that my essay about helping him uh, to feed his cat was unpotentious and filled with genuine emotion from margin to margin, and she wanted me to write another. Uh, what? Unpotentious? Don't you mean unpretentious? Anyway, Paimon gets it. So that's why you need to come back. Well, it is my homework, sure, but I really do like Mr. Leroy. He wanted me to say hi to his parents, to my parents for him, so I did. They were really upset when they heard his name though, and they didn't want me to come. I don't really know why. Well, if it's just for homework, it's easy, isn't it? You can just talk about how you fed the cat again. But that will only be one line. That's too little. No way. We'll go with you. Yeah, that's right. You can feed the cat. And we'll clean the entrance to and the rear of the house. And when we're done, we'll knock on the door and talk to Beno. They'll give you enough content to write about, right? That's right, we can do that. You're so smart, Miss Paimon. Uh, let me go feed the cat right now. Yeah, then try to knock on the door yesterday. Nobody's answering, and there are no sounds from inside. So they pack up and leave. The boxes are still here, and it's still same description. Uh, yeah, same thing. Welcome to the slab fish, that seems most pleased. Uh, Miss Paimon, Mr. Inus, I fed the cat. Nice, okay, let's go see Mr. Leroy. I'm worried though, maybe he won't come out. When I've come back to him lately, he hasn't even spoken to me. Lately. Just yesterday. Before I arrived, I went and knocked, uh, but just as he came out, the scary son-in-law his came and dragged him back inside. He then gave me some sweets and told me to go back to my parents. Then he shut the door. Jeez, Ben was such a chill guy, but why his family members such a chilly bunch? Mr. Leroy's son-in-law said that Mr. Leroy was ill and couldn't see me, but I thought he looked fine, so why couldn't he speak to us? Honestly, I'm more worried about Mr. Leroy than I am about my say. Uh, he must feel terrible if he's ill. Mama told me that sick people need our care and concern. So could you come with me and ask that son-in-law what sort of illness Mr. Leroy has? Maybe he ate too much cake, or he slept without a blanket. I can ask my parents about what to do. Regardless, let's knock on the door first. 
Well, we made an agreement, didn't we? I know I'm just a bit scared of that son scary son in law. Uh, because he is, well, scary. Could you help me speak to him? Don't be afraid, Molly. We got this. Please, could you do the knocking? Uh, Atos, the means of four, opens the door and walks out. You again? What in the world do you want? Could we ask if Beno is home? We heard he fell ill, so we're kind of worried about his health. My father is home, but he is no condition to be receiving guests. Could I ask what he's come down with? I could ask my parents to help get him some medicine. No need, we'll buy what medicines we needed ourselves. Uh, not that he has any lack of medicine anyway. We're just concerned for his health. You don't have to be so cold. Atos just doesn't want us to... Atos just doesn't want us to let us see Benoit. Uh, this is past cold, he's already frigid. I'm sure he should sure turn down the temperature quickly. Uh, you concern yourself too much with business that is not your own. Very well. Was there anything else? If not, I'll be heading back. Wait, what is it? Is Benoit really ill? Why are you trying to prevent us from seeing Benoit? And why must I allow completely unrelated people to see my father? Like I said earlier, he is in no condition to see guests. Arus, what's the disturbance outside? Nothing, Morticia, just a few kids saying that they want to see that. You really do get along well with children, don't you, Dad? Well, since these kids want to see you, why don't you go say hello to them? Uh, I like to, can I? Of course you can, Dad, you're in charge. The door opens and Benoit slowly emerges. Ah, it's you again, little ones. You're back. Uh, how are you feeling, Mr. Leroy? Uh, me? Oh, I'm doing... I'm not doing quite so fine, but... Not to worry, I'm doing my best to rest up. My daughter and son-in-law are taking very good care of me. So, all is well. Just run along home, if you would. Are you sure alright, Dad? If it's too much for you, you should go back inside. Benoit sees Atos giving him a meaningful glance before suddenly going back indoors. Well, so you see him for yourselves then. My father really is unwell. Does that satisfy you? If there's nothing else, I'm going back inside. We Atos ignores all of you. Well, at least you got to see, say a few words to Mr. Leroy. I do hope he gets better soon. Looks like I caused trouble for the people, Miss Paimon. That wasn't what I wanted. Don't think that way. You weren't in any trouble at all. In fact, Paimon thinks that Atos, the Atos guy is the real problem here. And the entire time he was just... You should go home first, Molly. Paimon and I will be heading back as well. Uh, it is you true. I should head back as well. My parents don't like it when I come here, you know. They get mad if they knew I came today. I don't know if we'll get to see Mr. Leroy again. I really wanted to tell him that his necks were super tasty. Well, could you help me tell him that if you see him? After he gets better, I mean. No problem, if I have my word. And by most too. Alright, thank you Mr. Ninos, I gotta go home now, see you. What do you think? Uh, Paimon noticed you had... I've got something to say written all over your face as soon as she looked at you. Let's talk over there. Let's not speak too loudly right here. Sure, let's go talk somewhere else. Hey. Yeah, I... I can't afford to do any promotion. Will this place do? Come on, tell Paimon what's on your mind. Uh, there's something off about the couple. There's something fishy about their relationship with Benoit. The way this couple deals with outsiders doesn't sit right with me. There's something fishy. 
uh, when we first met them a few days back, things se still seemed fine, but there's something awkward about the way they spoke today. It was yesterday. He's being coerced by his son-in-law. Benoit's daughter is coercing him. It seems more the guy, but she's in, in that as well. I'm talking about how the son-in-law guy gave him a look and made him go inside after he only said one or two things. Not that I mention it, but I kind of gets where the confused feeling was coming from. And there's something up about the couple. The, um, using everything kind of the same thing. One thing is so true. One of them talks a whole bunch and the other barely says a word. And the timing of their appearance was too convenient to be a coincidence. You mean to say they show up just as Ben was thinking about hiring some early help, right? And Fraser said that he was still hiring help for a year ago. But in that time, this couple became his children. Yeah, right? Everything is just too deliberate. There's definitely something going on with, him, with this couple. The way this couple deals with outsiders doesn't seem right with me. Exactly, they were nice enough when we first met them, but they sure turned rotten quickly. They were only friendly to us when their father was around. Hmm, let me think. That's true, the first time we met, it was right after Benoit went inside that his son-in-law told us not to come around again. They're faking it. But why would they pretend to be friendly for under their dad? There's gotta be a reason for it. Well, that's all I got for now. You know, you think Benoit is some kind of danger? Indeed. Oh, pam has got a bad feeling about this. Should we report it to the Maison Gardenage? We got no evidence. The situation is still pretty murky. We don't know how Benoit feels about all this. The situation is murky. That's true, that's true. But in the end, we're here to help him, right? Molly asked us to tell Benoit that his snacks were super tasty and we gave her a word. And a word is our sacred bond. Pam knows you always keep your promises. Well, we've got a good brain too. So, what's our next move? Let's do some investigating. Yeah, let's get to the bottom of this case. Uh, what should we investigate specifically? How Benoit feels about them, the couple's goals, the identity of the couple. That's right, Lookout, World, Ace Detective, Paimon and Ignis are going to expose the truth. So, do I wait another day? They didn't say they were going to wait another day. This still one a newspaper. Hey, anybody there? Hello there. Uh, it's been one at home. Uh, how should I know? Either way, it's weird, right? Weird. Uh, subscribing to a newspaper and not collecting it. Whenever I deliver here, he would always at least reply. But recently, I haven't seen him hide or no hair of him at all. Uh, the copies of these things were left here are already piling up. You know him, don't you? Yep, that's right. We're good friends with him. We don't really know him that well. Uh, good friends. Uh, whatever. How about give you the papers and you pass them along when you see him? Sure, leave them to us. Oh, yours, Paimo? But I don't think that's legal, but okay. And that's that then. I did my best to deliver them. Uh, don't you turn around and say I did it. I got other things to do. That said, we haven't seen him recently either. You too? Seriously, what's he been busy with recently? Could he have gone back to his old home? I haven't heard anything about that though. Old home? That's right, his old place over the flow center. Hmm, wait, so that's where he used to live? 
Uh, wait, you didn't know that he moved here from down there? Are you really his friends? Uh, we... Whatever, forget it. No need to explain. I don't care what we t what your relationship is. Uh, just get the newspaper to him and I'll be grateful. Okay, here you go. I'm off. Uh, it feels like there's a lot of we don't understand about Benoit. Do you think this might have something to do with what we're investigating? It's probably related. The more info, the better. Alright then, next up, let's check around his house a bit. Maybe we'll learn a bit more about him. Let's say we can make too much noise or we'll alert the couple. Okay, now I want to make noise. Uh, package for the Leroy family, newspaper delivery person. Has the papers that the Leroy family has not collected during this time into the package. Or in the site to investigate any strange going on regarding the Leroy family, knocking on the door would only alert them to what we're doing. Let's knock again once we have a better understanding of the situation. I think could just bother them every day. Uh, there's no dirt today. Ah, oh, you're fat already. Look on this fish. Nana seems most pleased. No, Nana. Yeah, you'll be really helpful if you could talk to animals like. We used to. Uh, you've seen this box in your middle of before. Judging by the traces left in the layer of dust, covering them, they were open quite recently. Up close, it smell a rank, a rank smell of fish and dampness assaults your nostrils. But when you pass by before, the boxes hadn't been moved. Where did the smell come from? Uh, these things look sewer. This stuff didn't smell like this when we came around a few days back. Didn't Benoit say he only used to this to store old furniture and stuff? Where did this horrible stench come from then? Did some new stuff get dumped here? Uh, there's a piece of paper sticking out. Let's take a look. Pliers, one, so one, candles, three, rope. Uh, this, recipe, this recipe is being torn up. Only half of it's left. Uh, Bracker is general store. We've seen the name somewhere, haven't we? I don't remember. Uh, strange traces. It has a slick, oily sensation that you're, you're sure have had to have been left by a candle. Who lingered here with a candle in hand and for what purpose? Uh, the box looks completely out of place. Uh, it stinks. I suspect it has. It was brought here from the flow center, meaning that someone from Menos family went there recently, and he was from there himself, wasn't he? All the clues we've got have to do with the place. You know, so we'll probably get more useful information there. Let's go then, out to the flow center. I mean, we can just report to the guards without any. Thing, but we do know a guard that would trust our goods and go investigate with us. Uh, where to? I just look everywhere. We don't really know where he used to live. Or are we looking for one then? Oh no, is there a lot of to live here, but no clue exactly where. On some clues, and there are things down. Let's come around to like everybody. Alright, uh, little sun's good for our health. Could you tell me about Benoit Lenoir? Leroy? Uh, well, I certainly heard the name, but he moved away a long time ago. And even before that, we rarely spoke. I'm not too familiar with him, so it might be best to ask someone else. Alright. Snowgrass. 
I'm so boring. I don't want to work. When am I going to get rich? Tell me about Ben Oliver, right? That's a weird way to approach somebody. You're right. Uh, I've heard that name before. Give me a moment. Right, I got it. Ben Oliver owned a stall that sold all kind of stuff. Also, who are you? And why are you asking after this kind of stuff? Actually, we just... This situation be complicated. We hope you cooperate with us. Why can't I just say... Uh, uh, don't know. None of those sound. Uh, wait, has he done something wrong? Alright, I get you now. But uh, I'm gonna ask real quick. You guys from the Spin of the Jerusalem or the Maison Gardenage? You have the right to remain silent. Come on, I think the Spin will open more doors. And I actually think I'm closer to being a member of them than the guards. Uh, anything you say can will be used against you in court of law. Okay. Oh wow, you're really good at this. Yes. Well, why would I be arresting him? Alright, alright, I get it. I won't ask no more questions. Uh, well, not like he made an honest fortune or nothing in it. Fontaine's got a lot of laws. He probably broke in a f quite a few. Anyway, officer, you've come to the right fella. Let me tell you, I know all about Benoit. Nobody knows him better. There's not much that scoundrel Benoit wouldn't stoop to. Uh, I'm old enough to get married, so he should be an old foggy by now. Huh? Anyway, I remember that his daughter Autumn uh, was a real beauty. Uh, shame he never let any of us talk to her. Autumn? That's right, Autumn Leroy, his adopted daughter. Just think, just think about it, he was just a fella selling floats and jetson, making a little more here and there. How he suddenly got rich enough to move up to the surface so fast, huh? How else but by using his daughter, of course. Poor pretty little thing, forced to force her to marry some rich old coot he did. And what do you know, the rich old fart kicked the bucks after just a few years, leaving his home to her. And what's hers is Benoit. The all in all, a uh, pretty quick way to win a life up there, if you catch my drift. Why didn't he get to be the one to get rich overnight? I mean, what an old blocks bloodsucker, am I right? Wait, did something like that actually happen? Let's press him further. So, officer, was that what you wanted to ask about? I mean, if this stuff's useful to you, you could say that I've contributed to Fontaine's security, yeah? And wouldn't you say that the Maison might want to reward a productive, upstanding citizen such as, such as myself? You already knew all of what you just said. And that would depend on what else you got share. Where well, I knew that. Hey there, don't you worry, I've got other stories to tell. This is a flop sailor after all. I mean, how could a fellow lay his head to rest in peace down here without a few other people's secrets in his keeping? Now, Autumn's second husband, oh yes, she remarried right quick. She did. Lived a bit further off, so we didn't hear from her for ages. Next time we heard a peep from her, well, she done that. And what's that? Wait, you don't know, officers? She murdered her second husband. Got hauled off to the Fort of Merapid for her trouble. Two, you're investigating Benoit and you didn't even know that? Uh, here's a list of people involved in the case, Officer Paimon. <laughs> you didn't check the documents very carefully, I see. Very disappointing. Uh, sorry, Captain Ignus, this won't happen again. Continue. And the secret you spoke of? Right, right. I was just getting to that. Now, I heard this from someone else myself, but rumor has it that Autumn asked for her father to take the standard in her trial, but he refused. Now, Benoit was unmarried, and she was his only kid, right? If I recall, uh, even though she was adopted, her parents were related to him by blood. Uh. 
In a way, since her one and only father didn't take the witness stand at her trial, naturally, she didn't have a chance. She was packed right off to the fortress. Now, as to whether he did it just so he could take the house for himself, or if he, he had some kind of disagreement with the girl, I'm not going to guess too much. Huh. He usually puts on a friendly show though. Huh? I remember he always used to give out snacks. Who would have guessed that he was so cold-blooded? Uh, you know, officer, you haven't so much as frowned this whole time. Now, I thought I was a cold fish, but I sure don't have ice in your veins. It's a matter of professionalism. And it ain't that worth respect. Now the officers, uh, what's the story with Benoit's crimes? How sh serious are they? No comment. Ah, that bad, huh? Well, what about his house? Will it be confiscated? Perhaps it is a distinct possibility. I knew it. Rats may scurry up to the surface, but a rat's still a rat. Thanks officers for making my day. I look forward to meeting you all again down here in the Plop Center. Huh? This guy spoke way too much, way too easy. Uh, Paimon's feeling a bit conflicted about this. Benoit made a really good impression at first. Don't judge a book by his cover. Only heard one side of the tale from a random person. Uh, that's true, but Paimon doesn't think we can keep trusting Benoit like before. Uh, Paimon hates this feeling. Still, it's a good thing Paimon can always trust you. Anyway, this sure is a lot for a good thing. Uh, a lot food for thought. Paimon uh, feels kind of queasy about it all. Let's get out of the flow of center as quick as we can. Let's go then. Time to get some sun on our skin. We should actually ask more people about it. Two grams for more cookies for children. Perhaps a bowl fruit cake for last time. That was pretty good. Start sound tasty. Yeah, I thought maybe. Oh, tell me about Navia. Okay, I'm not reading that now. Rakari? Oh, what do we just. Ah, she... they bought things from here, so if I knew her, I would need to look around. That's where they bought the fish. Oh, hang on. Still here? Aren't we supposed to. Go take some sun. Uh, I think maybe somebody will approach us when we're leaving. Ah. Well, center air just doesn't smell nice. Uh, it's not quite like upstairs where the air is the furthest thing from foul. How was it? Did you have fun strolling about the float center? I'm sure you'll have a good time stalk talking to Snodgrass. You were following us. How long have you been taking us? I have no interest in banning words with children. Uh, even if you were to go home and tattle to your parents, I doubt they, they believe you. Word of advice. Sometimes what you see or hear is neither real nor true. Why are you really treating us like children? And the guy was just okay with us being officers. When it comes to other people's affairs, don't insist on meddling until after you've got the full picture. By the way, Pip said that our newspaper are in your possession. I'd like you to return them. Thank you. You have little choice but to give newspapers to Atos. Not like I was going to keep it for myself for no reason. He gives a cold look before swiftly turning in the party. I'm just gonna be a feeling about that guy. Tiro. Uh, just what could they be planning? Uh, it's so, this is so annoying. It feels like we discovered something, but we can't put the pieces together. Uh, and I'm just kind of confused now. Ben was a good person who's in danger, so we keep should help be helping him. That's what's going wrong, right? We need to preserve more carefully. Best look before you leave. Don't be too quick to judge. Preserve more carefully. Really? Will that be okay? Uh, Paimon's assumptions have been overturned 
so many times this past few days that she's out of ranges. But you sure come uh, about all this. Uh, if I was a bit on the stupid side, you wouldn't hold it against Paimon, would you? Of course I wouldn't. You're not stupid. Uh, I knew it. You really are the bestest, the most reliable person in the world. But I'm so lucky to have you. You know, when you think about it like that, maybe Pam was actually pretty smart. It's just that she didn't grasp the whole situation first. Yeah, it's gonna be that. Well, then, time for Paimon to put her brilliant little, brilliant little brain to work and figure out what we should do next. Uh, have we accidentally alerted them that we are onto them? If so, maybe we should just observe Benoit's house to see if there is any there are new, any new developments, right? That's all we can do for now. Alrighty then, let's return later. Could also call... Fernanda, are you? Charlotte? Uh, I'm not supposed to wait again. Till tomorrow. Observe what's going on near Benoit's residence. Uh, you're here. <laughs> the cat's fed. Uh, yes, look, fresh fish, and the floor looks clean too. Someone definitely just tied it up. There's someone in Benoit's house for sure. Let's go over and listen. He's right, he can just disappear altogether. At the very least, he needs to be seen once in a while. Uh, out on a walk or something like that. Uh, if nothing else, it will stop the neighbors from calling the Maison Gardenage. Uh, I'd rather not have the special patrol's musketeers breathing down our necks. Then you really want to go up for a walk, don't you? Can I? Of course you can. Not only that, but we'd be delighted to come with you. Careful now, don't let him use it as an opportunity to call for help. Those two weirdos have been watching this place like hawks. They won't do that, I'm sure. That you wouldn't want the Maison Garden nice to know. Oh, yeah, okay. You know what? Why are they speaking so quietly? I can hear the thing. Uh, they're about to come out. Okay, we need to move a bit further away. This time we have to think of a way to speak, to speak with Benoit, right? Yep. Alright, let's scoot. He... Why would he talk to us? He doesn't want anybody to know what's going... What he did, apparently. How is it, Dad? Are you feeling any better now? It's you. Benoit? Help me. I mean, don't help me. Why are you saying that? Uh, what's all this help me, don't help me business? <laughs> oh, it's you too? No, why do you hide if they already saw us? No wonder Dad went out of his way to talk to you. You were acquainted after all. Uh, no, I don't. We don't know each other at all. No, but why would they be waiting here just for you then, Dad? They were even nice enough to get a paper for us. Why? They even went to the Flow Center to talk to your own neighbors, not grass. I think you must be very close, ain't no wonder. You've always loved kids, haven't you, Dad? I love kids too, but I'm afraid I'm not as selfless as my father. I love my own child the most, but she's gone. Where are you, Alton? The guy is called Atos, but Atos was another guy. It wasn't... Uh... No, even Alton wasn't... Uh... I'm gonna read that again. Just were you doing this? 
Mm. Answers in our father's children that loves us and we love him too, isn't obvious? Bertisha, look at how lovely the weather is today, perfect for a walk. So it is, Atos. Have you seen today's theme bird? There are quite a few interesting stories. Oh dear, I feel I, have, I haven't. And there's one particular about an old man who met an unfortunate aunt. Apparently he encountered some thieves. And uh, as there was no one by his side looking out for him, he ended up falling off a cliff and died. Oh really, the horror. That's so terrible. And another about a very unlucky merchant who drowned. It seems he drank too much and he walked into a lake in a stupor. And just like that he drowned. Ah, oh, my word, truly unlucky. Uh, and this last one is very interesting. It's about a madly busybody who just couldn't keep their nose out of other people's business. Uh, he accidentally took the wrong medicine. He mistook poison for medicine for his illness. And just like that, swallowed the lot. And then ended up dying very, very painfully. Oh my, there are really so many ways to die. Please go on. Sorry, sorry, I won't ever do that again. Or whatever you're talking about, Dad, we're not trying to say it's your fault or anything, but you must be tired after running around so much. Atos, why don't you come back and read the newspaper to Dad? You subscribe to a lot of papers, don't you, Dad? That's right, we've been chatting long enough. We ought to go back now. Let's go back together, Daddy, be curious. Something's fishy, something's fishy, even Paimon can tell the. There's something off about all this. Uh, Inus, you're the brightest spark here. What should we do next? But no one wants help, but insists that he doesn't. That couple may have come from the flow of sander. From the reactions, I said that there are some hidden factors at work. I have some tears, but no evidence to back them up. Then, how about we go take another look at Benoit's house? Wasn't there a strange box by his back window? There's definitely something hidden there, and it might just be the proof we're looking for. Considering how persistent you two are, I didn't expect you to just leave it at that. I thought you'd go run into the Mason Garden Edge, but you didn't. Looks like you have a few ideas of your own. Why are you keeping Ben on here? How are the two you two actually related to Benoit? They are I don't think that really matters. Why are you keeping Benoit here? To tell the truth, you've impressed me quite a bit. If you only put your enthusiasm to better use, you have a bright future ahead of you. It's just a shame that you won't be getting anywhere with this. Uh, you really aren't afraid, are you? You picked the wrong person to intimidate. Oh, so do you really uh, not have a clue what's going on here? Or is it because you think you are on the side of justice? Incidentally, there was an article recently about a merchant who drowned. His name was Brent. And uh, that fellow sure had a way with words alright. Guess what? According to the paper, Turns out he didn't draw after all, but in fact was murdered and thrown into the lake. After a very long investigation, all of the Marshalsi Phantom was all that the Marshalsi Phantom was able to conclude was that he was murdered, and that the murderer was guilty of a heinous crime. And that's what the news reported said. Uh, who knows what actually happened, or even which one of them deserved to die more, the murderer or the victim? Uh, a tough question, isn't it? I haven't decided that what the answer is yet either. Anyway, I digress. This has nothing to do with what we need to discuss. What are you trying to say? I'm saying that acting recklessly before you fully understood the situation is foolish. And might bring about some undesirable consequences. We are just investigating to understand the situation. When you see injustice and doing nothing, that is true folly. Uh, whenever I witness injustice, I take action. First of all. Uh, well, perhaps if it met under different circumstances, we'd be friends. Though, I like the way you think. I have things to do. As far as my patience can be stretched, 
next time I see you two anywhere near my house, I'll do something about it. Mark my words. Okay. After muttering something inexplicable, Atos leaves. His bizarre attitude surprises you, and you start to wonder what position you should take in the matter. You suddenly hear a faint tapping sound come from the back window, and then after a barely audible creak, a note drops down from the window. There is a brown writing on the note. Uh, it looks like someone wrote in a real hurry, and appears that they used coffee to do so. Uh, quick, see what it says. Uh, help me please, they're criminals, scum trying to swing on me of my property. Their plan was revealed and now they've got me trapped in my own home, hoping to coerce me into submission. Help me please, I'll find some chance to escape, so please cooperate with me. The day I am ready, I will place both fruit into the cat food bowl at, the, at my door. That day I ask that you come get me at the rear window of my house. Please, I beg of you, save me. Otherwise, I fear I shall be tortured to death. I think this is good grounds to call the pot cops and have medicines around the place and get inside. It's been a much. Sorry. Anyway, let's keep an eye out for the football and wait for a signal. Weren't we going to open those crates? Wait for the boost boost fruit signal. Uh, do I just wait day after day? Let's wait a bit and come back later. Does that really mean come back? I have to go away and then back? Or just wait? Works. Okay, just wait works. Poor uh, fruits time, we should wait nearby until night time. I'm so nervous, based on what the note said, we just need to wait for him here. Then we wait, I have a few questions for him. Okay, it's your call. After quietly and patiently waiting for a bit, the window opens with a creak and a familiar face appears. Benoit surveys the environment cautiously after seeing you both there. Carefully climbs out. Benoit, just follow we... Quickly, quickly, if I'm discovered, it'll be all over for me. You talk as you go, right? Pamela's got a lot of quests for you. Benoit, who's the person chasing the meat? Morticia, isn't she? We said she, it was an atom. It means that the woman who solves this goal is your daughter Elton, right? Elton is here to take revenge. I need to write the live line out of town. Revenge, wait, so Beth is your daughter. Fire motor in the sky. We need to escape. We have to escape. The house has hers anyway. If she gets back. There are lots in the court of Fontaine. But if I lose my life, they are lose everything. Please, you've been helping me for the past few days. Yeah, please, I beg of you. I don't know what I was encountering my own. Please, I beg of you. Stop going up with Paimon. Paimon's not in order to pass days. We need to explain everything. Stop cutting off Paimon. I think for a moment. Heard from Manuel, old neighbor, Autumn, saying the Fortune of Merapi. But now she's back. And the Atos, who is he? Anton hasn't been doing well. She hates me, so she isn't willing to just let me. I found a little help from Atos. Uh, escape just to come kill me. She's saying so much, other colors in her eyes, everything is different. She disguises herself as a stranger just to get close to me. She wants to swing on me on my health away. I won't die like that. It's okay. The house turns away. I'll take you back. I lose my life. I lose everything. I lose everything. Okay, so she's in just taking her things back. She's also getting revenge. Uh, apparently it seems like he deserves a bit. Well... She has gone to the fortress and they don't let people out of the fortress. Uh, where are we supposed to go? So, she probably paid... Her time already for murdering her second husband. Oh uh, yeah, let me, let me read those things again. 
Uh, her father didn't get paid. Didn't get. Let me see the last one. Yeah, everything is here. There is no cost case. There's rouge. Uh, 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 wrong accused and thrown in prison. So his members of the press. Uh, Freeman was free. Okay. Liam, bright clothes and left. And that's the guy we always killed. Can always kill there. Can't achieve nothing. Love knowing. One life do this. Uh, Rocky, okay. Atos. Uh, uh, uh. Grocery. Okay, he probably had grocery inflow of Sander. Yeah, the jeweler. Uh, destroy his stall, his life. Why? They had there's something about between them because they weren't even competitors. So I just kill him and then he's carved in Salasse Plain. I'm not sure where that is by name. The murder someone is of course crime, but the victim is turning turn innocent. Mm -mm -mm. It's not exactly hiding. Auto is it? Auto had no faith she stuck to when she was alive. And presumably no less message the day she died. Yeah, I thought she died. She was dancing like puppet among Amy's sweet lies. And that's the marriage, the first marriage she had. When she woke up, uh, her, the most precious thing in her life, her daughter, had been taken. Autumn wanted nothing more than a perfect world for her daughter to live in and dedicate everything to make it so. You understand the, mother, the pain a mother can feel, you who are reading this note, and you are willing to grant a mother's wish to protect her daughter, please go to the shelter in the center of the lake uh, and take what she has left for you. And is there trust? Parker and her husband swore to travel around Fontaine and spend their entire lives around the world. They're, they had a daughter, Penny, a lovely girl who loved swimming and fish. I don't remember. Was Autumn the one who had Nana? Then, yeah, yeah, he said it was his daughter in Autumn is Morticia, yeah. Autumn was the one who had Nana. In Parker. So, Autumn is nice to Penny. Uh, uh. Okay, I think Penny actually doesn't. Okay, I, I have to go to anyway. Things will probably get explained. Yeah, Autumn is related by blood to him, but they aren't really uh, father and daughter. So maybe his uncle. Yeah, that was what make, make most sense. Otherwise, he could just be his, her granddad, or to make him an older cousin. I think maybe a bit too much. It could be, but uh, yeah. Ah, uh, ah, So yeah, it's probably her uncle, and now, uh, and then he adopted her. Um, but Autumn lost a daughter. But it doesn't really say how. But now boards the Aqua Buzz and I hurry alongside you. He seems to be quite friends. He comes with Doctor himself. And anytime you have friends with himself, Otayo. The moment the chance to get off the boat arrives, he runs on ahead as if having long head of gold. You have to hurry to catch him. He's an old man. Uh, we're running too, Benoit. But don't it should be hard to catch up with him. House was frozen away, so if she takes it back, then she takes it back. Well, I can lose here. I still why? Benoit, we almost couldn't keep up. Why are suddenly we start running so fast? When a flow comes, the crater will rock. If the steam breaks, the crater will fall. Oh! Yet I will catch you, cradle and all. Okay, we're pretty far from everything. We can just fight you. 
uh, I just want you to know the name of her because uh, uh, was should be around here. Will make more sense to be around there. Where is Salasa? If uh, there are you. Oh, I have no idea where he dumped the body. Hello, Dad. And it's over. We can beat him up. When Alton told me you were planning to escape, I was quite surprised. We've kept you locked up for so long, and yet you still haven't completely collapsed or had a breakdown. In fact, you even tried to seize the opportunity to encourage these two heroes of justice to assist you in your escape. I find your will to live quite moving. But of all the places you could have run to, in the end you chose the place you and Alton had urged to this together. What a foolish blunder. I... Uh, no need to explain, I understand. When people are panicked, they naturally and instinctively uh, tread the path they find most familiar, do they not? Luckily, Alton left after you. She hasn't made it here yet, and I do not wish to discuss this in front of her. So, just what are you thinking? I truly don't get it. Under the guise of marriage, you sold her to others as though she was just a commodity. And you did it twice. Ah, the second was that too. Uh, the first time you traded her for a big house in the Court of Fontaine. The second time you randomly chose someone just to get rid of her. So the property and everything else will be yours alone. When she was bullied and humiliated, you chose to turn a blind eye. Uh, she gave you her child from her second marriage to raise. Yet you got rid of her child too. I can only surmise it was you. Uh, you was so you could take the money meant for the child's support and care. How could you give sweets to the children with clean conscience and ask them to come around to your home as guests is beyond me. Does your conscience twinge? even in the slightest. Do you feel even the smallest pang of guilt, even for a moment? I find it completely baffling. To be honest, I only first met Alton while she was out on the streets. She is a very gentle mother. She cares greatly for her, for my friend's daughter, Penny. Okay, so they are friends. If she goes a day without seeing her, little Penny will throw a fit about wanting to see her again. Oh, and if you think about, uh, if you think, if you think you still have a chance to turn the tables, think again. Alton has a whole lot of friends now, not just me. It doesn't matter where you scurry off to, we will chase you to the ends of the earth. Why must a soul like hers be tormented so? And have nothing while a scholar like you lives a life of luxury. Something doesn't seem right about that to me. No need to wax philosophical, he isn't worth it. Ah, he appears you overheard. Oh, so you're Alton? Paimo finally has an idea of what's going on. The Leroy family really is complicated. He knows we've been following Benoit all the way here, but it turns out a lot of things are completely different from what we imagined. Now that it's turned out like this, should we still involve ourselves? It's up to you. I mean, I want you to see it to the end. Let them take care of it, I won't interfere. Uh, I won't stand by and watch them hurt Benoit. I mean, no. I just want you to see it to the end. But uh, the, the guy deserves to pay. Okay. Oh, my dear aunt, do you really want to do this to me? Oh, what shot of the flop center was uh, as lucky as you? The sweets you ate, your setting dresses, the novice you adored, all those required money. While others shrouded and starved, 
you were wearing pretty dresses and putting necklaces on your dog. I gave you that life, so don't you think I should get some kind of reward? After all, there's no such thing as free ride. Me cruel to you? I have been generous enough. Also, think back carefully. What part of her life did I not prepare for you? Every time you went astray and met misfortune, it was due to your own willful decisions. Uh, Mr. Benoit, you simply are amazing at twisting words until the logic itself is completely inverted, proclaiming generosity and kindness while only seeking to further your selfish aims. In the end, it's all about you, isn't it? Your so-called kindness was only an attempt to fatten me up like a lamb for the slaughter. Spare me your lies. The extent of my compassion and pity for you now is to give you a quick death. Though before that, tell me, where is my child? Where at the old home or the house you live in now, there isn't a trace of her or her whereabouts. Just where did you send her? If I tell you, will you let me go? No, but I'll let you die less painfully. If I don't tell you, I die. If I tell you, I die anyway. Huh. If there's nothing in it for me, then why should I make things easy for you? Also, you... You really never do tell a lie, do you? No, we'll never find out where she went. Well, from where you saying you're going to torture him enough, I think he would say eventually. Well, I do happen to know where she is, but I won't tell you. Nope, I'll never tell. You'll never find her. Never, 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 never. Okay, now... Now you're really showing uh, who you used to be. Uh, I'm going to take him away. I'll be bringing him back to his own home. Do any of you have any objections? Please do. We won't interfere. You guys take care of it yourselves. It's not our business. Yeah, but I kind of want to help you find your daughter now. Benoit keeps repeating, you'll never ever find her over and over as the silent autumn takes him away. I wasn't planning on letting anyone else know about any of this. After all, she has an arrest warrant out for her. How did she escape the fortress? I thought people didn't use you do that. That's why it was such a big deal with child. It's probably worth mentioning that I too am uh, the subject of such a warrant. If you go to the Mercy on Gardenage, now if I report, you should be able to pocket a hefty sum. But I would advise against doing so. If you do, our friends will not forget. Feel free to find out for yourselves. Uh, I don't have the option. I won't report anything. I don't need the money. I won't report. Uh, that's what I thought you'd say. In that case, this rainbow rose is for you. We favor this flower on account of its rich symbolism. Right now, it symbolizes a warning. A warning not to change your mind about what you just said. Farewell. And so that's what happened. What a complicated family. Someone doesn't know what to say about all of that. Uh, it's a good thing we didn't report anything to the Maison Garden as she earlier. Pamon feels better for Alton, though. She never managed to find her kid in the end. And Paimon thought Benoit was a nice guy, too. Uh, do you think Paimon's easy to fool? You <laughs> just realized that now? Your brain cells can die lonely deaths. <laughs> that's... that's me. Hey, uh, that's going too far. Mocking Paimon at a time like this. Hmm. Paimon will forgive you unless you treat her to a big meal in, at the Hotel de Bor. A regular rainbow rose. <laughs> okay, now there's nothing for waiting. The steambird is Ah, there's more. Excellent publication. Oh yeah, we have to... Well, we don't have to report back to Molly, but... We were supposed to... To talk to Leroy. See how he was doing. Hmm, 
house for sale. Notice, this house for sale. Very reasonable price. Um, purchase before too late. Can we buy it? Mr. Inus, Miss Paimon, it seems like Mr. Leroy doesn't live here anymore. Have you seen him? Hey, do you want to tell her the truth? We ran into him. I haven't bumped into him. No, she'll just be more curious. We ran into him. So did you see him? Did you tell him the snacks were delicious? We actually forgot. We forgot. Oh really? That's a pity. I guess I'll never get a chance to let Mr. Leroy know. As for the bull fruit I brought over, I guess I should just give it to you. Mother sighs and waves goodbye, and just as she's about to leave, the door opens and Otto and Alt Atos walk out. Oh, so it was your voices we heard outside. Is there still something you want? We are just passing by in Beno House Benoit. The world's full of inequity, extreme poverty, and excessive greed. The punishment that the laws of Fontaine fail to mete out, we shall execute in their stead. I mean to say, he has gone to where he belongs. Wait, does that mean you kill him or you're still torturing him? I, I... Uh, uh, isn't this the little rascal who's always looking for him? Hi, lady. It looks just like her. Uh, you even have lavender eyes. Huh. Huh. Did her parents didn't want her to come here because they bought her from him or something? And you did see her the first time you arrived. Uh, lady, can I help you? How old are you? I'm nine. What are your parents' names? Uh, are you okay, lady? Your expression is something wrong with the kid? Wait, this can't be a coincidence, can it? Are you adopted? Tell me. Mr. Inus didn't know this lady. What is she doing? Who asks this question like that? Hello, me. Yeah, miss, I remember very close to with her dad, right? Yeah, Mr. Leroy treats me really well, Mr. Son-in-law. Does he not live here anymore? That's right, he's gone somewhere very far away and won't be coming back again. What does your dad usually talk with you about? Can you tell me? When I go back, I can tell him how much you miss him. Uh, Mr. Leroy always treats me to snacks, lets me pet Nana and tells me my eyes are pretty. Anything else? He often tells me to say hi to my mama and papa for him, but they don't really like that. Papa gets really angry and says that Mr. Leroy is a bad person and that he is blackmailing them. So they've forbidden me from coming here, I made an agreement with Mr. Leroy, so I sneak over. Please don't tell papa, mister. Uh, that's just like him, he won't stop squeezing until he's run the last drop of value of it. The bastard, sorry. Uh, we were talking about something else just now. Uh, Mr. Lady, is there something else? Is there anything else? If not, then I... I'll just go home now. Uh, dear mother and father love you. They're the best parents in the whole wide world. That's good then. I'm going home now. Bye lady, bye mister. Couldn't you guys walk her home? At least let the parents know that there won't be blackmail anymore. Goodbye. Is this really okay? You don't plan on telling her? Yeah, telling her now would be kind of bad. She likes her, their parents now. Uh, I have imagined this thing time and time again. But nothing is better than knowing sh that she's happy. That's enough for me. I'm not my father. I don't want to cause trouble for her current family. Uh, I don't mean to be that guy, but didn't you buy a music box for her? I'm not going to give it to her now. No, there's no need. She doesn't like she lacks uh, for things like that. I'll think of ways to give peace to her in the future. Whatever she needs, I'll find a way. Can you guys just leave here? And then become friends with her. I'll give the music box to someone else. After all, I spent a lot of time and effort picking it out. Excuse me, little white hair. Girl, do you like gifts? Do you mean Paimon? Wait, you want to give this to Paimon? Yes, I do. It's a gift, so please enjoy it. I hope you will 
you still have a bit of value to you. Sorry, that's just what I think I need to stay in the Court of Fontaine a little bit longer. Don't worry, it's all the same to me. Let's go. You watch the two of them walk away, leaving this street behind. Thus, does the story of the Leroy family draws to an end. Auto's gift. I thought it would be a um, furniture. A musical toy sold at the Burton's House of Curiosity. It is very popular among children. This one appears to have been bought a long uh, while back and is no longer the latest model available in the store. Presents are for sending to people, and if they cannot be sent in their original destination, then let them at least be left with one who will treasure them. Oh, we can't read that anymore. I don't suppose we can see Molly around. What about the cat? It's going to starve if it just stays here. I don't know, I suppose they will, they will live here. Yeah, but the note is still on the door. But for once, she said they will probably stay here for a while. Yeah, I don't suppose we can find out where... We can, I don't suppose we can find Molly around. Okay. Mm, I really have a Shogun. I don't have a Yoimiya. I uh, can I have a Kush of Sarah? Yeah. A few. Alright, and then I'm off. <laughs> 